these eleven tickets away, but I'm taking Solinski, Solinski. <laughs> Good movie, I enjoyed it. Today. Thank you, sir. Good. I appreciate uh, what's, what's the responsibility like telling this story? Because obviously it's quite it's recent. A, it's, a, it's a huge responsibility, but the biggest responsibility for us, obviously, was to honor the 11 people that lost their lives uh, and their family members and the people that did amazing things to survive and help others survive, uh, you know, that tragic night. Um, and we wanted to be as accurate and realistic as possible. So, you know, we had Mike with us, who was who I play in the movie, and he was a consultant on the movie. And, he was. He held us to a very high standard. How emotional is this process for you? The fact that you're, you know, seeing your life played out again, and it's very recent history, of course. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just extremely. Um, it's like riding a roller coaster. I mean, it's up, it's down. It's uh, we do stuff like this, and it, it, it seems surreal. And then I see the photo right there of, of a rig on fire, and and then it immediately reminds me of why I'm here. I'm here to speak for my 11 brothers who can't speak. This is the story about them just happens to be seen through my eyes. What's it like when you're on the set and you're kind of experiencing a tiny like, recreation of what it was like? Uh, you know, well, it, it's pretty uh, you know, sobering when you look at a guy like Mike who went through the real thing. You know, there's no room to complain. Like, you know, you're tired, you're working 12 hour days and it's hot. You know, these guys uh, had to really experience this. So, you know, you just kind of tough it up. So, you know, the fallout and what happened with BP and mm -hmm. things. What, what do you think the message is from, from the end of the movie particularly? I, you know, look, I mean, if they'd, have, if they'd have just taken a little more time and spent a little bit more money, I think it could have been avoided, but that's that's being a Monday morning quarterback, you know. Uh, I just, you know, it, for us really it was just honoring the 11 people and being inspired by the heroic things that people did to survive and help others.